I think you have to have an ability to listen uh, to your patients in order to be a successful physician. Uh, active listening uh, is especially important, and that's a technique where um, when a patient explains something to you, you pause for a minute, and think about it, and then reflect it back to them. That way both you and the patient knows you're really understanding what they're saying. It's very meaningful to me to be able to establish a relationship with a patient, which really takes a couple of years, to be honest with you, and then go with them on their journey in life. I've been in practice uh, for about 25 years now, and um, honestly, it just becomes more rewarding as you develop long-term relationships with your patients and families. Um, it just, I, I can't imagine doing anything I love more. I'm also fortunate enough to be in a leadership position uh, at Virginia Mason, uh, a focus on keeping our patients safe, providing the best uh, care that we can. We work a lot on making sure our care is appropriate and evidence-based, and that it's also cost-effective. I was born in Chicago, uh, Illinois, and then my very large family of seven brothers and sisters and my parents all moved out to Seattle. Uh, I went to school, uh, high school here, Holy Names Academy, and then did my medical training, school training uh, at University of Washington. My interests outside of work uh, include uh, a lot of sports activities. I enjoy swimming and hiking and bicycling, and I'm a, a, an avid golfer. As I look back on my career, I just uh, consider it so much more of an honor and a privilege to be able to do what I'm doing than I ever would have thought when I first was starting my career. When someone's finished cancer treatment or when they've gotten over a bad case of pneumonia or, or a stroke and they're able to, to get back to doing what they like to do, I mean, it's a really fun visit and uh, there's a lot of high fives that go on.